Hello Year 6, Mrs De Gilbert here. Just sending you a quick message to say how much I've missed you since we've been apart and I can't wait to get started with you again. So looking forward to seeing you next week. Hi Year 6, we've really missed you these last few weeks and we're so excited to be welcoming you back really soon. We can't wait to see you. Hi Year 6s, Mrs Tate here. I just wanted to say a very special hello to you all and to say that we're really looking forward to seeing you all again soon. Hello Year 6, Mrs Schofield here. Um, just a quick video from me really to say hello to you all and just to introduce myself again. Obviously you all know me but I will be taking one of the Year 6 groups when we go back to school. Um, so just here to say a quick hello. Hello everyone, I'm Mrs Daly and I will be in Chestnut class. Looking forward to welcome you. Hope you're doing okay and keeping safe. I'm really excited for us all to be back together again. I've missed seeing your faces every day. When we return to school, things will look and feel a little bit different. So what we've put together is a little bit of a tour so that you can see around the school and see what the classrooms look like, how you'll be entering the school, and hopefully that'll put your mind at ease that everything will seem unusual, but actually is quite the same. Thing at school. When you arrive at school, please walk sensibly up the path and make sure you maintain two metre distance between you and the person in front of you. Walking to your classroom. Please make sure you don't go through the main entrance and you walk around the side of the building. When you arrive at your classroom, please enter through the fire door. As you can see, these will be propped open for when you arrive at school so you can enter safely. If you are based in Willow, Pear or Chestnut, remember we are not going through the main doors. We need to continue to walk around the side of the school and follow it round to the fire doors. Please note that Miss Hunter waits at the door to see that the person in front of her has entered. Then she looks inside before she goes in. This will help to ensure that you stay two metres apart and can enter the classroom safely. As you may be aware, you'll be placed in one of four groups, either in Willow class with me, Mrs De Gilbert and Miss Hickling, in Chestnut class with Miss Daly, in Oak class with Mr Schofield, or in Pear class with Mrs Charlesworth and Mrs Tate. So let's look at the classrooms together. Sanitation station. Within each classroom, there will be hand sanitizer available, as well as cleaning products to wipe down tables, chairs, door handles, etc. There will also be soap in the classrooms for children to be washing their hands regularly. And we would like to remind all the children to be washing their hands for at least 20 seconds, singing happy birthday if that helps them remember how long 20 seconds is. Oak class. Some of you will be placed in oak class when you arrive back to school. We ask that while in classrooms, you remain seated and put your hand up if you need something from a teacher. Chestnut class. Similarly, some of you will be placed in chestnut class. Again, the seats are placed two metres apart for your safety. Pear class. As you can see, the chairs are two metres apart as with the other classes. Please do not move any tables or any chairs as these are currently two metres apart. Willow class. Cloakrooms will not be in use while we're in school, so we ask that you don't bring a bag and coats be placed on the back of your chairs. Unfortunately, the book corner will also be out of action and will have to stay at our tables throughout the day. You have also been placed two metres away from the teacher's desk, so this needs to be maintained at all times. Firstly, I want to give you a few key messages about the start of the day. First off, I want to let you know about the timings. The school day will start at the usual time, but we ask that you arrive promptly so that we can make sure that all children get into school safely. So please can you be arriving between the times of 8.40 and 8.50. We also ask that when you arrive at school, you enter through the main gate on the driveway. So there's no need to use the alleyway. You can walk straight up the driveway, as we've asked for no cars to be driving up and down the drive at the start and end of the school day. When your children arrive, they won't be able to walk through the main entrance. They'll be walking round the side of the school. Similarly, we ask that no adults enter the school building for your safety and the safety of the children. If you require a conversation with a class teacher, please call the school office and you can make an appointment from there. If you require any further information, a letter is available on our school website from Mrs Wood, which outlines everything that's in this video and much, much more. You'll be placed in one of four groups and this will be your bubble while you're in school. 
you will have your break times, your lunch times and your lessons with the children that are in your group. And unfortunately, you won't be able to work with or play with any of the other children from the other groups. That will help maintain the safety of you and the other children. I just wanted to go over what the classroom itself will look like. So when you come back, it will look a little bit different, but it's still going to look amazing. And you'll have your own desk where you're going to sit every day that you come into school. Now, with that desk, you'll also have all your own stationery, which is very exciting, that will just be for you, okay? So you won't be able to share it and you won't be able to use anyone else's, but you won't need to because you'll have everything you need in your own state with your own stationery. One other thing that you'll have with your desk is underneath your desk, you'll have your own personal tray. Now that tray will have everything that you'll need for the school day. So you'll have your exercise book, you'll have a glue stick, your own glue stick, which is amazing and you'll be able to use that throughout the day. Because you'll be giving all your own stationery at your own desk, it does mean that you don't need to bring anything in with you, so you don't need to bring any pencil cases, you just need to bring yourself and um, your coats and then your lunch for the day if you're not on school dinners. Your tray. Under each of your tables will be placed a tray with all the stationery you will require for the school day. This will include things like a dictionary, a ruler, a pencil, a pen, a rubber, crayons, a dictionary, a glue and a workbook. So everything you will need throughout the day will be available to you under your desk. This will minimise the need to wander around the classroom and if you need any additional things, your teacher can bring that to you. But the one rule I've got for you is that there will be no tuck shops, so make sure you bring your own healthy snack to eat at break times. So as you're going to be staying in your dedicated classroom, movement around the rest of the school will be quite limited. You will see tape markings like these ones, which show you how much distance you need to keep from one another. So even at lunch times, we're going to be staying in our classroom to eat our lunch. If you are a school dinner, the lunch will be brought to the classroom for you. So we'll all eat our dinner together in the classroom. At break times and lunch times, we will have a designated area on the playground for us to play in. Um, and we must remember to keep that two metre distancing when we're outside at playtime. Maybe you could have a think about the types of games you could play outside. You could maybe play I Spy or Charades, one of my favourite. So have a think about those games that you could play which involve you staying apart from each other, so no tag or anything like that. At the end of break times, lining up will look a little bit different as well, just to make sure we're keeping that two metres distance from each other. So as we walk in, we have to remember that as well. So the lines will be longer, but they will be safer. A little reminder, just remember to bring your own water bottles with enough drinks last year for the whole day. Remember that you will need to take this bottle home with you every single day to be cleaned and then ready to bring back with you again the next day. Do the same as you normally do. So tell an adult, tell a teacher, tell a teaching assistant. We've got fully trained um, first aiders in school, so we'll be able to help you as we normally would do. When you use the toilets, we're only going to be sending one child at a time to the bathrooms. We obviously don't want there to be anybody passing each other in the toilets or in the bathroom area. So you'll only be going to the toilet one at a time.